What lads, what's the crack? My name is Orchard Runner, and welcome back to Telltale's Walking Dead. Right, so we are in the pharmacy, so we have to find a way into the back. As far as I remember, we have to get some heart pills or pill medicine, some heart medicine for this dude over yonder. And yeah, I made a few stupid mistakes in this. Like, I thought this pharmacy was just a regular old pharmacy, but it turns out this particular pharmacy belongs to Lee's family. Because when I was going over the original footage, when I was editing it, I noticed that in one of the cutscenes, he did look at the building in a kind of a inky way. Uh, I was going to say kinky, but inky wasn't wasn't the word I was looking for. Uh, I, he looked at it in a funny way. So yeah, this pharmacy belongs to his family, so he knows where everything is. But he's letting no one else know about that. He's keeping that fact to himself. Okay, either way. Let's see. Can we go into the bathroom? Tammy, you said you wanted to use the toilet, didn't you? Take a tinky winky, a little tinkle. You okay? You, you don't need to pee anymore? You good? Go on. Talk to me, Clem. Hey there. Hi. Okay. Get you anything? Get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Yeah, right, and I think we should get to know each other, shouldn't we? So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Oh, that awkward small talk. Oof. Oh, the cringe. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Okay, be good, Glenn. Alright, but how do I get back here? That's the million the dollar question. Are there. Through here? Authorized employees only. Alive inside. Well, I, I I hope there's people alive inside. And what about you, uh, Lily? How's he doing? I'm not sure. I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit. All right. It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting me down. And that violence before with my dad, it didn't help. Oh, uh, so what's wrong with him? Well, we, we know he has a heart condition. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes he nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Well, he does have a temper, though. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Hey, yeah, fuck you. He doesn't mean it. It's just that. Yeah. Uh. We've got kids here, yeah. We'll be real. We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Okay, chill. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well... She's lucky to have you. Ah, you're just a big old softy now, aren't you, Lily? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Lies, you worked in UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. 
We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. So, yeah, this place does belong to his family. He's m mom and dad. Man, that sucks, though. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him now. Okay, you do that, Lily Willy. And all I have to do is focus on getting inside here. Wait, what are these? Well, I'm taking them anyway. Oi, can I get this to Clem? There you go, Clem. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Ah, uh, see, look, building up a good rapport with her. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Surprisingly. And is there any way I can run instead of just... Oh yeah, here we go. Just doing a bit of a fast walk here. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Okay, good, good, good. Seriously, where do I go from here? Where, 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 where? Do I just talk to everyone here, or oh, another energy bar? We need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. That's mine. Now, who do I give this to? That's the question. Do I give it to Clem again? No. Anyone else? You, Lily? Yeeny? Ducky? Yeah, no, I'll give it to Ducky. Even though he got Sean killed, and I will forever hate you for that. Try to get some rest, huh? It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Oh, we got a Sony pop machine as well. Can we get Sony from it? Wait, 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 wait. What type of pharmacy is this? You have ice cream and Sony pops? Man, I'm jealous. Get all the good things in America. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Anyway, what's the plan? How do we get out of this mess? Because clearly I don't know how to get into the back room or to the back office to get the pills. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh, you know what, I'll tell them they own this place. They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Anyway, you guys hanging tight? Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Jeez, he looks traumatized. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How's she doing? Uh, well, I think she's good. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Oh, now we're going places. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. 
that blood is on our hands, you know? Well, it did happen pretty fast. It happened pretty fast, I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Char. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Uh, yeah, this whole situation sucks for him because really it was Doc's fault. He probably put the handbrake down and rolled over his leg and got him killed. And got Sean killed, I should say. And I was doing a bit more research about about this game. Just seeing if a differentiation... Uh, differentiation... Uh, differentiation... Di differenti <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. If it differed from the main series and the comics and... And it does, it's kind of like its own universe, it puts its own spin on the entire Walking Dead series. So you yeah, wonder, well, are characters that are based off of the comics and and the series, uh, there's really no strong correlation other than the names. God, I really killed myself for trying to say differentiated. Differentiated, differentiated, that is what I was trying to say. Jesus, I felt like I was having a stroke there. Uh, okay, uh, do I just have to talk to everyone before I can get into the office here? Because there doesn't seem to be anywhere else to access it from, aside from this door, but it's not giving me it. Oh. Don't I feel stupid? I can't. I can't think about them in here. Hmm. Oh man, that's rough. Hey, Glenn. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. Yeah, you I saw. You stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that for more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for more. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. And the audio does seem to be clipping a bit, or not the audio as such, but the actual dialogue. There's just a small bit of a clip before they speak. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Okay, but seriously, enough goofing around, let's see what we can find. This door leads to the back alley. Pallet, move it. What's behind here? Oh, stick. Oh, a cane. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifted with it. This cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Yeah, it looks good on you, Clem. And the audio, at least in this part, seems to be overshadowing the dialogue. So what I'll do is I'll see if I can adjust that a small bit. Yeah, I'll turn that down to about five. And there's an option for graphics as well.
Oh. 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 Oh, I see. So this kind of turns off the outlines to give it that real uh, comic effect. I mean, you have to say the game does look a bit more vibrant without it, so I'll leave it off just just to see. Just see if it actually appeals to me. Wait. Oh, I didn't apply it. Okay. Yeah, that, that, it actually looks a lot better. It looks a lot more clearer. It doesn't look as uh, crunchy. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Oh. Photo of the family. What? Find anything? What the hell? When did you get in here? who you are you do you're lee everett you're a professor at athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife this is your parents store oh folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence but i'm a reporter for wabe in atlanta i paid attention to that trial maybe you're a murderer but i don't really care frankly that's a skill that might come in handy <laughs> did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place Sticking to first names for a reason. Give me that look. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. All right. Might as well say thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. See, that's what it's all about. Building up that good rapport. Because I'd say, all all, uh, Lee is a good guy. So, at least we got a bit of background into him. So, his his wife slept with someone else. At, slept with the center or something like that. And Lee got pissed and murdered him good. So the story goes. Uh oh, first aid kit. Best take this. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Not yet, anyway. Oh, and the bedding. Why would that be in here? My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector. Yeah, sounds like a good guy. Is there anything else? No, just to move this table, that's all. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Are you sure? Big tough cookie like yourself? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Come on, Clem. Get your legs. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Yeah, we'll shift to conversation. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> That's it, Glenn. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Oof. I wouldn't blame them. Why? 
Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Okay, I think X is the obvious option to go for. And, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. My finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Oh, come on. Let's get you checked out. Dr. Lee is in the house. Right. Uh, let's just check out what's in the drawer first. There could be one in here, maybe. No, but there is a remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Oh, you're just keeping that as a memento. That's nice. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Okay, what can about we give her? Here? Ow. Big owl or little owl? Um, medium owl. Does it hurt when I do this? A little, not too much. You sure? Yeah. Okay, so we can't give her, we can't give her this photo, we can't give her the okay, remote. It's not broken. Yeah, there should be a band-aid in here. Ooh, TV. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us, no problem. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Oh. So you gotta, uh, don't break little Clemmy's heart. She is going to find out eventually, though, and that will be rough. That's what I figured. Blue screen of death. Ah, here we go. Band aid. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Yeah, band aid. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee, you're such a dad. Alright. Now, let's progress. Let's get the man he's made. Smart. We need to track down the keys that are gonna help Larry. Okay, where would the keys be? Don't that to be on the bedding, would they? My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt over there. It was my dad. <laughs> Time to be a hero, maybe. A protector, at least. Well, um, I don't think there's anything else in here where the key or anywhere else in here where the keys would be. I'm scanning everywhere. Ceiling. Go to the pharmacy. Box. Bedding. No, I've examined everything here. So I'll just head back outside for the time being. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was oh. that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh, it's complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen, or you 
do things and we can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Hopefully Clem won't remember that. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So I'm down at that motor inn and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? to get some supplies for the group and a bunch of the roman ones got the jump on me i'm hiding over here but they won't leave what's up glenn's trapped out at the motor inn hey glenn we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you all right <sighs> awesome i'll sit tight till then sounds good i'm gonna hold on to this until we get glenn back okay i'll take good care of it what do you think i think doug's not great around zombies and you've got your family here I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay, but first we'll just take one last look-see around here. Oh! Is that the key? Oh no, it's just an energy bar. You know what? I think I'll give this to <clears throat> to, to to Lily. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah, you're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh really sweet. Don't mention it. Always food and drink. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Okay, there's a few more places here. Okay, another NG bar. And here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Oh. And what's in this box, pray tell? What are you messing around with there? Oh, it's radio. I don't know radio. The box. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Did you try turning it on, woman lady? I guess no batteries properly. Yep. There are no batteries in this thing. There's Not your problem. Yet. You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Two double A batteries, woman. They're not that hard to find. Well, I mean, they might, might be hard to find in this place. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Oh, the big stumpy batteries. In which case, I am stumped where to get them. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cars. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny guy. Yeah, all my pictures are gone. And now there's there isn't anything else here that's interesting. I don't remember them very well. Are these? No, nope, nothing to say. And definitely nothing else here, no. No, no, not a not a not a damn thing. No. Nope. Damn you good, of course you're good, you're always good. 
Oh, oh my god, a battery. But is that just one? Or would there be another one slinking about here anywhere? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Okay, now it doesn't work. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Oh. Thanks, I appreciate it. No, I don't think there's any more. Not that I can see, you know, because of the awkward viewing angles here. Unless there's some behind the till. Can I go behind the till? Is this behind the till? It is, but I can't get in. No, 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 nada, nada. Nada. All this searching is probably pointless. No. Oh, 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 no, no. Wait, oh, newspaper didn't see that. Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. And what's up here? And what about you, Doug? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. You sure about that? Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. God, they're everywhere. Oh look, there's twins or triplets. They're all wearing the same shirt. Ooh. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. So too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay, is there a reason I'm out here? Would there be a battery here? Do you want my remote? Think you can do anything with this? Yeah. I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. I mean, what do you expect me to do with it? MacGyver that shit and turn it into a machine gun or something? That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Oh, that's my brother. Don't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, just make a bit of noise around the gate and draw them over to you. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. TV store, remote. you can do anything with this you know what I could do what's that throw it it's universal I could program it to work with those TVs across the street I just hope the power is still on you can just do that well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV he's hacker man Fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. 
you say it already hasn't. I got a few of them to take notice. Yeah, that about looks like myself watching TV on a daily basis. Oh, didn't do much. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Okay, Doug, so what's the jam plan? We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. Well, I know. I can't reach that brick. Well, you can't reach it. Seek your hand through the gate. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. <laughs> it's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. Ah, you jokester. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. Now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Yeah, I don't really care about those at the moment. I'm much too concerned with getting eaten alive. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just... Doing my own thing. What about you? Eh, I grew up here. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. All right. I guess we should head back inside now. En enough uh, reminiscing. Let's head back inside. Okay. I'm just gonna head back inside the storeroom here. Just to see if, if there would be a battery on the ground that I may have missed. And Clem, why are you clinging to me like a lost puppy? That's a bit weird. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Nothing you need yet. Definitely no batteries here, not none on the desk. No. Your pre presses, maybe? Can, can I. Can I look in here? No, no. Nah, no, not a. Now, this was a waste of time. Yeah, this place is pretty much cleared out at this stage. There's no other remote, or, or sorry, there's no other battery. There's nada. So I guess we should head out and help Glenn. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Okay, I'll just ask her. Well, I'm, I'll just tell her I'm looking for batteries first. Maybe she might be able to help I'm me. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. 
Thanks. I appreciate it. Oh. Never mind. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. How can you be trapped in here when there's only like two or three zombies? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Then is that you? Guys. Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> hey, what's happening? Why is the camera just free roaming like this? Oh, okay. okay. This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. The voice attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. And he can use as a weapon, maybe? No, nothing there. The girls behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. No, we we'll just take the long way around. It seems safer. There's no zombies this way. Oh, there is. This seems a lot more dangerous. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Crap, I didn't think they could spot me. Oh, nope, nope. I'm not sure I can take the bullet out myself, even if I had a weapon. Sure, I can take the boat out myself, even if I had a weapon. Right, so we're not going that way, that's for damn sure. Unless. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Uh, great observation. <laughs> great. Great observation there, Poindexter. Okay, let's head back the way we came. Let's not do that. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. Hey, good idea. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Yeah, let's take a quick look see. Screwdriver. If I break the glass, the car alarm could go off. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Unless there's a better way of, of getting it. But I don't think so. I'm done trying to 
damage out window. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stuff these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. So I opening the door. And have you two got any bright ideas? How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? No sheer amount of luck. Oh, I didn't see this before. Maybe I can smother them. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know what we're gonna do. Yes. Gotta put this up against the window and smash it that way to try and reduce the sound. No. No, 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 not that. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Okay, we smash. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Okay. I'm done trying to punch out window. Maybe... smother the zombie? Get out your gun. But the noise! Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Uh... Oh, that did the trick! sick! Good thinking, Lee. Jeez, it took me a good few minutes just to find that one pillow, that one thing. Okay, now, gotta check the car for anything. Anything useful. Gear shift, uh huh. Oh, a decent come in handy. Guess we can push the car and crush the zombie. Oh, would that make too much noise? Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> didn't hear nothing. Okay, I've taken care of one zombie. What about the rest? Wait. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. So I can smash. Um. Okay, we're safe. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. 
second. Now we can get to some zombie killing. At last, finally. Gotta go at this solid snake style. Can I ice her? I'm pretty sure I can. Oh, oh I worked up. Alright, let's try this again without getting killed. Preferably. <laughs> Same thing with you. Wait for it. Now! Oh shit! Yeah, teamwork! Oh, but now I get an axe! Yeah, no, I'm not gonna be stupid, I know exactly what you're gonna do. The second I, I grab that axe, you're gonna bite the head off me. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Right. Let's do this thing. Do more. That should help. And I can't roam anywhere else, can I? Now I'm just stuck to this one area. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Yeah, let me do the grunt work. Slowly does it. Bring it, dude. Rad. Okay. Knock, knock, Johnny's home. Or I should say, Lee. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. This, we're coming in. Okay, miss, I just want to ask you a few questions. Don't take it too personally. Stop, just stop. No. I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't Aww. want that. <laughs> it's not Christian. Please. Just leave me, please go. Come with us, and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're... Satanic. No. We can't let you do that to yourself. And do it for me. We need to get going. 
Give it to me, please! This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. This. Back up, please! Oh, God. Oh, this will end terribly. Take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Oh, God. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Oh, God. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Well, Glenn, that's what simping gets you. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah. For the most part, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, I'll see what I can do on that front. Because I really haven't made a whole lot of progress here. Like I spent most of my time, a good half an hour, arsing about here trying to find remote batteries or, or uh, not remote batteries, batteries for the radio. How are you doing, Glenn? You know. You can't just ask him if he knows the combination. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. So you don't know. Don't look at me like that. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back at the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess, but that's not me. I'm not giving up, not for anything. Good, man, good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Okay, I'll, I'll ask, then would, would he? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. Try to get some rest. Huh, <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so I still have this axe, so I guess I can just bust down the door. Maybe. Or would that be stupid? Would that create too much noise? Ah, weak. Well, it's worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. Yeah, but how do I go about getting the keys? That is the million dollar question here, my dude.
are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. All right, back out here again. I guess I can try breaking this open. Maybe it might work. Yeah! Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Okay, uh, use remote on the TV sword again. Or will this be a bad idea? Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can get the brick now. So I guess I just cheat it at the TV store. If I have a good enough aim. Cheat! Yeah, that ought to do it. All right, you enjoy the sports ball game. Okay, let's go. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Hey, bro, how you doing? Seen better days, I guess. I shouldn't have left. I mean, you know what I mean. That's right. Whoa! Come on, you gotta aim for the head. Free mama. Yeah, he's definitely dead out now. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Hey, you did that. You don't want to shout at them, you idiot. Oh, God. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Okay, let's do that. Oh, no. Oh, God. Shit. We gotta hurry. Is that our Meemaw? That's probably our Meemaw.
Yeah, that's probably our Mima, I'd say. I mean, there's a reason the camera's focusing on her like that. She's obviously a zombie of interest, maybe? Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Dad, we need your help. Please hurry! Whoa. Oh. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Oh, don't worry. We'll make we it through. Make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I love you. Is that it? I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Are you sure? What? Oh, shit. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Oh god, get on my face. Good time. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Dad's keen. Oh shit. Get out of my face. I found something. Yeah, that'll do. Although it probably won't hold for long. Food to save, food to save. Oh God, here come choices again. I mean, I suppose Doug, because, uh, what's her name, Carly can shoot. Oh, man. Oh, God. Holy. Let's go. We got Carly. Doesn't matter. We gotta move. Hey, 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 hey. Get off, crazy lady! Up! Uh oh, 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 shit! I honestly thought I could run back and, you know, interact with that zombie. Let's go! We got Carly! That's a man! You gotta move! Alright, let's go. Not covered with this, you son of a bitch. No! What the? Oh, God, you asshole. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Oh, thanks, Kitty. Oh, my God, Larry, you are an absolute dick. Ooh, 
Teams are getting pretty rough out there. All right. I think I'll leave it here. So, yeah, I know I dilly-dallied a good bit, especially when I was trying to find, like, remote batteries, energy bars, things that were really not pertinent to the main story. It was just, like, little side quest things to unlock extra pieces of dialogue, and that was about it. So, I might cut that out, or I might just leave it in. Just have a few jump cuts here and there, and especially when I was at the motel trying to beat those zombies i was trying to break into the van and i was just glossing over everything but it wasn't until i found that pillow in the end where i really started you know motoring on with the game trying to put two and two together trying to find out okay so i've got a pillow what do i do with that and just trying to interact with everything and anything only to find out that yeah i used the pillow with the gun to sort of make it uh how do I say, uh, makeshift silencer. And yeah, things progressed rapidly from there, I, I would imagine, or at least I think. Uh, but overall, I think I could have done better, to be honest. But, you know, I'm still getting used to these games. I'm still sort of getting used to the mechanics. So, yeah, it is a bit of a learning curve for me because I haven't really played a lot of point-and-click games, at least on consoles. I mean, the last point-and-click point and click game I played... Uh, Jesus, probably like in my younger days, like one of those kiddie games like Scooby-Doo on the PC. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I honestly played one on the channel ages ago. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I may not have. I may have. Who knows? Either way, I'm rambling too much, guys. You know what to do. If you did enjoy this video, by some freaking miracle, and God bless you if you did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, come favorite, share, and of course, like always, I'll see you guys in the next one. So, until next time. See ya.